Well, all right, folks, another beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. Now, similar to yesterday, we're abandoning our kayak and bridge fishing missions here and uh, doing a little bit of boat fishing. So currently, I'm here with Ron Tiki, good friend of my grandfather's and a, a very seasoned fisherman who's been in the Keys now for 20 years. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you would have seen Ron almost a year back now doing some fishing here uh, for blackfin tuna and also in the Florida Bay for some cobia. Now today, we're only about, oh, fish on. Oh, actually, never mind. So currently we're almost a mile offshore here of Key Colony Beach, right next to Marathon in the Florida Keys. And our goal for today is gonna just be to catch whatever bite. So Ron's got a spot in the middle of Hawk's channel. And uh, what do we catch out there, Ron? Well, it's, it's just gonna be a simple, simple trip. We're, uh, we're running on one engine. We've got uh, one engine broken, so we're going to anchor up, chum a little bit, lane snapper, yellow tail snapper, maybe a lucky uh, mutton. Hell, we might get into some mackerel, king mackerel, Spanish mackerel, cerro mackerel, small sharks will be there. So that sounds good with me. A bunch of species you can catch out there. I'm always a big multi-species guy. As long as we're catching, I'm happy. So see if we can put a couple of fish in the cooler too. We got about 20 minutes till we get out to the spot. Then I'll go over the whole breakdown, but let's see if we can pick up anything on the troll on the way there. Then we'll uh, switch gears, drop the anchor, and start chumming. Yo! There's our rock pile. Those are fish, believe it Really? Yeah. Those are fish? eight feet of ten feet of fish down there all right so we made it to the spot right here we've got our chum bag doing its thing the screen is absolutely covered with fish down there so there's a rock pile a couple hundred feet that way we've got a bunch of shrimp heads here ron specially picked out for us today and uh well let's get to fishing all right so just like yesterday we're taking a jig a little bit heavier we're in about 26 feet of water so can't get much simpler than this a little shrimp head tip the jig Voila, it should be on instantly, almost. Oh, missed him. Oh, that was 10 seconds. I got followed on the way up. Something tried to eat the jig. There we go, Ron's hooked up. First fish of the day, what do we got here? A little yellowtail? And I lost my bait. Again. There he is, first fish of the day. Oh yeah, a little yellowtail. Short yellowtail right there, first fish on the board. All right, see you, bub. Boom, another shrimp head into the mega school. Oh yeah, what is that? Oh, a little no, pompano? pompano? What? <laughs> that's pretty cool. Oh, awesome. that's my first ever pompano. That's a pompano, right? Not a permit. <laughs> my first ever pompano. I did not expect to catch that today. Second fish this is already a great day. Oh, that is sweet. There we go, guys. First ever pompano in my life. That's our second fish at this spot. Now he's on the deck. All right, right, we'll put him in the box. That is so cool, man. Never know what you're gonna catch down here in the Florida Keys. Shrimp head and jig, that's all it took. Thank you, Ron, for the spot. I try to chase those up in New Jersey. We get them like October, September, when the real warm water comes and hits us. And uh, the biggest ones are like eight inches, 12 inches maybe. That's sweet. Yeah, it's not so much bait and weight, it's more like bait and real. Oh, there we go, that was a good bite. Oh, man. Smoked it. What do we got here? Ah, snagged yellowtail. 12 inches? Oh, yeah, that's a keeper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is like tog fishing back home. There's a fish. Check that out, huh? 
don't know what fish that is. Maybe, you know, no teeth. Another unidentified fish species there. Probably be good cup bait. Oh, there he is. Another yellowtail. All right, I'll let this guy go. See you, yellowtail. Pretty much every cast here, guys. I was just telling Ron, this reminds me a lot of tog fishing back home. If you guys are from the Northeast, like most of my viewers are, just dropping a bait down, getting bit almost instantly and swinging. It doesn't get much simpler than that, but this is, this is a lot of fun. Down here, you never know what you're gonna get. I think I've caught four different species on my last four casts, so really a ton of fun. There he is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, mega. There's a fish. What we got? Another sh small yellow tail. Alright. Some weight on this guy. I don't know if I snagged him or got more than one fish taco here. There's your trophy mutton, Ron. Oh, look at that baby. There we go. Another snapper species off the list there. Cast away in the back of the school. We got ourselves a little mutton. Lanes have vertical yellow stripes. Give them a good old double threat. There he is. What do we got now? Another yellowtail? Yeah. Another cookie cutter yellowtail right there. Yeah, you can't make too many fish tacos with this guy anyway. Lucky day, bud. Ta -da. Another cookie cutter yellowtail. Little guys, see you, bud. It's probably number 12 or so. Hoping there's a flag back there somewhere. We've had a lot of fun, but there's only three fish in the box. Yeah, I, I can't hook any of these. Oh, there he is. Just as I was saying it. Oh yeah, that's a keeper there. Keeper yellowtail. That's at least two tacos worth. Yeah, buddy. That's all you had to do, Ron. Say we don't have enough fish in the box and we just added one more. Just gotta figure out the hook set with these guys. When exactly you should set it. Surprised the mackerel hasn't hit my jig on the way in. Catch most of my mackerel off the bridge after I miss a bite and I think my bait's gone and I reel it in, there's like a fragment of a shrimp and they always hit right when I'm pulling it out of the water. Gotcha. Just gave it a little dangle. Doubled up. A little grunt. Trophy there. <laughs> Look at that guy, huh? All right, we'll chunk him up though. Put out a little cup bait. All right, a little fillet there. Let's give this thing a whirl. Doesn't look pretty, but sure taste it for some hopefully bigger fish. Oh yeah, there he is. On the grunt. There we go, that's a keeper lane snapper right there. That's a trophy. That's at least a sandwich or two right there. Hell yeah. We don't measure by inches on this, but we measure by sandwiches and tacos. And inches if you're the FWC. There we are. What does he measure to? Oh yeah, slob. 11 incher. Boom, upgraded from a shrimp to a grunt. And there we go. There he is. This one's screaming towards me. Or he's four inches long. Look at this, I'm catching the smallest fish in the world. Look at that guy. Ron's is 10 times the size of this. His is has to be measured. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, there 
There we are. Just got bit on the way down. I think that's a mackerel. Hope I hooked him all right. Come on. Come on. Come this way. All right. Too close. Too close. Too close. Too close. Heads up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo. Oh. Oh, net's up there. Let me get my pick gap, little kiwi gap. Got him. Woo. Yeah, buddy. That's my biggest Spanish ever by far. Holy. There we are, folks. My biggest Spanish mackerel to date. Did not expect to catch it just a mile here off the beach in 20 feet of water, but or on a falling shrimp, shrimp head. A lot of unexpected there, but hey, I'll take it. Got my jig in its mouth. Bit me off at the last second when we got him in the boat. The species just keep on coming. Awesome. Does it look 30 pounds yet? Yeah. Awesome. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Get in there, get in there. All right, folks, so we got a couple tacos there in the box. Huge shout out to Ron for taking me out to his uh, secret spot. The diversity there was amazing. Caught mutton snapper, lane snapper, yellowtail, my first ever pompano, really nice size Spanish mackerel for me. A couple sharks, just a great fun day here. Fished in the Florida Keys, so nice to break the skunk streak off land. And again, big shout out to Ron for taking me out there. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Never end the send. Yoop.